I've got a package for a box of my notes. Thank you very much. What is up? It is Friday, and I am actually just doing this video as a little bit of a technology update. Uh, just some things that have been happening with my stuff that you probably don't know about, that you maybe want to know about. So, first of all, my last few videos have actually not been on my new camera, it's been on my old camera. Because uh, turns out, when the camera fell the other week, if you remember seeing that, It actually displayed a message right after that fall that said it couldn't read the lens and then after about two minutes of messing around with it, it the message went away and it worked and then about a week later I was messing around on campus with some of the settings for photography and the message showed up again and it didn't go away so I actually had to send it back to Amazon and they had to send me another one so it's been about a week since I sent it back and I was waiting on the email to say that the mailroom had a new one for me or an email from Amazon saying they sent a new one and I got an email about maybe the day or so after I sent the other one back from the mailroom and I thought the way I read it, I just read it really quickly, but the way I read it, I thought it said that they had sent my mail out, which is odd because I don't remember ever getting a message from the mailroom saying they sent my stuff out. Uh, like when I return books to Amazon or whatever from renting them, I never get an email saying that they sent it back, but I was like, whatever. It's only been two days, there's no way that I have another one already here, so that's probably what it means. And then I was texting my mom today about this camera and just seeing like when things are coming and on her Amazon it said that it was delivered about a week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. And that was the day that I actually got the email saying that it was here. So a week later, I finally picked it up from the mailroom. So it turns out I actually could have had the camera the entire time I was doing the other videos I did the past few days, which is a little disappointing because I like to use the new one because it's nicer, obviously, but it's not really that big of a deal, I guess. I just feel really stupid that it was here for like six days and I just didn't get it. So, yeah. Idiot. He is an idiot. The man is an idiot, ladies and gentlemen. Another thing I wanted to talk about is actually my laptop. If you remember, about a month ago now, I said that it couldn't fold down and I, because it would break basically. It just sounds terrible. And like, if you flip it on the side, all of this stuff, just separates and I just know that that's not supposed to be you know it's not supposed to be like that and I took it to a computer place and they said they were gonna order a part for it and it was gonna be fixed um, I was waiting on the call to hear that the part came in and I just never got one I kept my phone ringer on the next few days after I went there which I never have on in case they called and then I guess I turned it off and I never received a call so I called them last week I believe it was and I was like hey you know, I never heard anything, just wondering what's going on. And they said that they called me back on June 8th, saying that they had the part for my computer and I could bring it in. So I didn't call them back until three weeks after June 8th, pretty much. And so, I'm an idiot twice. Can I just say that of all the idiots, in all the idiot villages, in all the idiot worlds, you stand alone, my friend. So I took it back one night, left it there overnight, they fixed it, by the next morning it was fixed, and now it bends perfectly fine. But I found that the last few weeks where I wasn't able to actually take it with me, I didn't really mind that it was actually just sitting there on my desk, and I was taking the small one with me to outreach, because really the stuff that we do there is only like research basically, I don't really have to use any serious programs. So I didn't really mind using the worst one, and plus the small one is way lighter, because the battery pack for that is also like a tenth the weight that the other one is, I swear. And so like, I just don't even notice when it's in my backpack most of the time, and it's just less of a hassle to take with me. Plus the small one, the battery would probably last like three days if I left it unplugged, whereas the big one probably wouldn't even last like five hours if I used it unplugged, so. It was just one of those things where at first I thought it would really suck having the computer as basically a, a desktop, but it didn't really matter at all to me. So I didn't really care that I accidentally waited like three weeks to, uh, to call them, but I still felt really stupid that they had the part the whole time and I could have just had it fixed. But at least it works now. So that's two things that are broken and now fixed that I was kind of stupid about. So yeah, that's my, that's my B. And the third one is actually the editing program that I've been using. Um, I said on my video when I was downtown with my friend Anthony that I said I was probably going to purchase a new editing software and I finally did. I originally when I started these videos had been using this free software for, through Windows that was super basic and super easy to use but it also had like 
nothing special to do with it. Like, you couldn't really do anything that you would like to be able to do, I guess. It's kind of hard to explain, but there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of little stuff that I like to be able to do every once in a while that I can't do. I don't need a lot of very specific editing tools with, for these videos because they're not that really crazy or anything, but there's sometimes there are things that I'd like to be able to do that I just couldn't. Like if I wanted to put a picture on the screen behind my head of something really random, then I could put it in the corner or, you know, whatever. I could do that on the other softwares, but I couldn't do it on that one. And for a while, when I had situations when I wanted to do that kind of stuff, like when I was making videos for the outreach, we were overlaying photos on top of us talking a lot, and I couldn't do it. I was actually using a free downloaded software called VideoPad, which was pretty good. It was better than what I was using, and it was definitely a good segue into what I have now. But it was a free software, so every once in a while I'd get a message from the software saying that my trial was over, and I basically couldn't export or save the videos that I was finished onto my computer because they thought it was like basically... I don't even know. They just thought it wasn't for like my own personal use or some stupid message like that. So what I did for a while was I would uninstall it and then reinstall it and then usually that would allow me to use the free trial for at least till I finished that video and then I'd usually have to uninstall it and reinstall it for the next one or sometimes I got lucky and they let me use it for like a week on the free trial but other times it didn't work out. Uh, near the end of the when I decided to get a new software I was uninstalling it and reinstalling it over and over and over and the message was still popping up immediately and I'm pretty sure that they guess I guess they just caught on to what I was doing because I just couldn't use that software anymore so I had to get a new one so now I'm using a software called Adobe Elements which is just like below Adobe Premiere which is like a super intense not super intense but it's a pretty intense software and it's like the one below it it just has like a lot of capabilities that the other ones didn't but it doesn't have quite the capabilities that premiere does like premiere you could actually like clone yourself if you wanted to like i could put two of me on the screen right now if i wanted to and it would look completely normal through like premiere but elements like i couldn't do that but elements has a lot of stuff that the other softwares couldn't really do like i don't even know little stuff like cool fonts and like 3d letters and like if i wanted to make this whole entire thing like tilt and look 3D like I could if I wanted to make myself like a different color I could if I wanted to make myself this weird like three I don't even know what it is like 3D like if you had 3D glasses and it would look cool then I could do that and like there's a lot of weird stuff I want to make it look like an old film I think I can do that it's just there's there's a lot of little stuff that you can do with the software that I couldn't do before and it's just nice I messed around with Adobe Photoshop as well for like photos briefly just to test out some stuff um, but I don't really like the idea of like filtering or like adding light in where there isn't light and all this other stuff like making the clouds look a lot cooler than they were I don't know personally I just like the raw photo better because I think it shows where you were at more accurately than when you edit it and do all this crazy stuff like the photos when they're edited they look really cool but sometimes they look a little bit like you were in the most perfect moment in history when you took the photo for some that I've seen. So for me, I just like the raw better. So the Photoshop is nice to have to adjust light and stuff if I want to do certain things where there's like a glare or something. But for me personally, my photos, I don't, just don't think if I ever take any that I want to edit it super high intensely like a lot of the like professionals do for their stuff. But it's just personal preference. People like, some people really like high edited content and me, I'm just kind of like, I want it to be more raw, I think, personally. Not that there's one that's better than the other, it's just where I am. So yeah, sorry if this was a little more boring, it's just me talking about where I'm at with my stuff. I feel like since I'm not doing the weekly updates or anything, you don't really find out what's going on with my uh, equipment or like me personally ever. Not that really anything is ever going on with me personally, but like, I feel like if I just didn't use this camera for a week, then maybe you should know about it and I just never gave you an update about the computer in general. Maybe just assume that it got fixed, which probably would have been the smart thing to assume but um, maybe you forgot who you were watching and that I could be kind of stupid sometimes. So, yeah. Anyways, it's gonna do it for today. So thanks for watching, thanks for sitting through this little update. Peace, have a swell day. Was that weird I did it backwards? It was kind of weird.